Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out this 911 script which lets you type slash 911 with a text in chat. It's great for roleplay servers and a bunch of servers who like doing type of 911 roleplay stuff. It also has a Discord webhook hooked in which is a lot of people have recommendi re recommendized. I'm clearly tired. Um, recommended that I go over some stuff with Discord webhook, suggest some resources like that. So this is one of them. Um, I'm not going to be going over the Discord webhook setup for this because most people know how to set up a Discord webhook, um, but if you would like one of those, please let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to do a tutorial on that in the future. But anyway, what this resource does is it lets you have a uh, message in chat, it puts a blue circle around the location of it, and it lets you have a caller name along with the Discord as well. Um, so go ahead and download this, you're just going to go to the resource page, which is linked at the top of the description, and go ahead and click the 911 improve.zip. You'll go ahead and download and open it up with WinZip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open it, for my case it is WinRAR. Then you're going to go to whatever folder your resource resources are uh, kept in. In my case, it is my server data resources folder, but this could be any of the folders that you have. Um, wherever your folder is where you put your resources for your server, this is where you would install that. You can see I have other resources like VRP installed. There's no difference. I will still work alongside these. You're just going to drag in this whole 911 improved folder and you can see we have dragged it in. And if we go into the client.lula file, you can see it should it give you a chat suggestion. What should be the blip time? How long will it stay there? Got the author's name and then you got actually the code the command, uh, all the language stuff. So if you want to change the language, you can go ahead and do it here. If you want to change the command, you could even do this here. So if you wanted to change it to like uh, 111 or something, you could do that as well. And you can change um, all of the responses. And if you know how to code Lula stuff, you can go ahead and change that as well. And then inside the server.lula file, it's kind of just the webhook URL. Should it create the blips and should it disable the calls in chat? It's completely up to you, um, but it is up to you. Um, so anyway, once you've dragged that into your server, go back to your server data folder, go to your server.cfg file, and what you're going to do, make sure not to upload it to ShareX, make sure you're editing it with Notepad or Notepad++, whatever works, and you're just going to enter the name of the folder. In our case, it is 911 um, improved. So I'm just going to do 911 improved. There we go. I think it is capital I in this case. Yes, it is. We'll go ahead and save that just to make sure we have done this correctly. What you're going to do is you're going to start up your start.bat file and just look in console until you see the name of the folder. So you can see um, if we get rid of the spam of VRP here, you can see started resource 911 improved. So we have installed it correctly. Once it says started resource, this means you can go ahead and hop in 5M and actually test it out. So let's hop inside and see what it looks like. All right, so we have gotten in game here and pretty much what we can do is do slash 911 to report our emergency. I'm just gonna say 911. I need help or something and you can see new 911 report caller location a caller name and the report itself so the caller name is based off of your in-game ID obviously I have um, VRP installed so I'm gonna have these uh, admin menus and everything in here so you won't be able to actually see what I'm uh, see that number there but you can see it does put in the actual location radius of where that 911 call is and if you had discord set up as well you would be able to see that but it also says your report and all of that good stuff. If you do slash 911, it will just say what's the nature and location of your emergency. So you could do like, uh, help me or something, and then it would send off a request, obviously, and then it will disappear in the configure file based on the time you set. So very easy, very useful to set up. I really recommend it if you need something standalone that really, really works. Um, it works along with VRP and all the other ones. So keep up the good work, Arthur. Author, I'm Clearly, I'm tired. I can't speak correctly tonight, but thank you so much for making it a free resource. If you have a resource you want to see, please let me know down in the comments below, and I will see you in two days for the next video. Uh, please go watch last time's video as well, because it didn't do well. Anyway, subscribe, like, comment, join. See you next time.